Hi everybody, it's me Sierra, aka Naturally Nefertiti, back with another video, baby. I just felt like doing that. <laughs> so today's video is actually a protective style tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I did these red jumbo knotless box braids with goddess ends. And they're also really long, they're thigh length. So if you want to see how I did these braids, stay tuned. Hey guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm done with my entire head except for this last row. Um, and this is um, my last row and I've uh, sectioned it into four different braids already. Um, my hair already has a leave-in conditioner and an oil to moisturize. And I already have a, my hair already set out and ready to go. So, now it's just time to braid. So, this is not going to be a super detailed tutorial because I already have two Knotless Box Braids videos on my channel. So, if you want to really learn in depth how to do Knotless Box, braid, box Braids, um, check the card section up below or the description box where I'll link those two videos. This is going to be just a quick one to show, um, just to show what's new. So this is Shine and Jam. I'm going to put this on the roots to make it nice and slick. And then I'm going to divide my hair into three sections and do one braid. So I literally just put um, the outside piece, I grabbed it and put it in the middle. That's it. Then I'm going to take my first section of hair, I'm going to loop it around my thumb and forefinger, and I'm going to put it in the back and slide it in. And I'm going to braid, do one full braid, take my second piece of hair, loop that in, do one full braid, third and last piece of hair, loop that in. I'm going to show that another time because I know my finger may have been blocking a lot of it. But um, yeah, always do at least three pieces for my, for my knotless braids. Um, I sometimes do more, but I always do around three to five pieces. And then I'm going to keep on braiding, adding shine and jam towards the end of my natural hair. Then I'm going to take, this is the, um, the wavy hair, and I have three sections of my braid. I'm going to put this behind the braid and add it to the two pieces like this. So it's with the middle piece and it's with the outside piece. And I'm going to continue braiding down. Then when I get a little bit further down, I'm going to add a second piece of hair. So I'm going to make sure I add it to the strand that does not have any wavy hair. So I'm going to again take the wavy hair, put it behind the braid, and add it to the middle piece and the outside piece like that and continue braiding down. And I like to add mine to the back of the hair so that when you look at the front, you don't see like any knots or bulges. And so once I reach the end, I'm gonna take a small strand of the hair and I'm gonna um, create two knots to secure it.
And there we have it. One braid down. So these braids are really long. Um, this is my waist, this is my hips. So they actually go like to the top of my thighs. Okay, let's see that again. First, I add Shining Jam. Then I divide my hair into three sections. And I bring the outside strand to the middle. That's it. Then, take my first piece of braiding hair and I'm going to tuck it in between you can see the back side of the braid I'm going to tuck it in between my thumb and my middle finger right here bam so I grabbed it so now one strand will be with this um, middle with this piece right here and then the other strand of braiding hair will be with the second piece and then I begin braiding. And so you just want to make sure that you're braiding really tight to the root. So I braid twice. Then I take my second piece and I do the same thing. So the back view, I hook it in between my forefinger and my middle finger. And I continue braiding. One, two. Then I take my last piece. Same thing, hook it in between my forefinger and my middle finger, right here, like a little pincher. Bam, goes right there. Continue braiding, one, two, and then you're done. And so, that is what your knotless should look like, coming straight out of the scalp, baby. Again, that's why it's important to add the hair to the back of the braid so that you don't see where the hair was added. Continue braiding. I add the um, wavy hair a little, like once my hair ends, I braid down a few more times, then that's when I start adding the wavy hair. So here's my first strand of the wavy hair. Again, I have three strands of my braid. I'm going to put the wavy hair behind the braid and add it to the outside strand and the middle strand. And then I just braid it, continue to braid. Braid down a few times. And I'll do the same thing, except I'm going to make sure that I add wavy hair to the to the strand that has no hair. So again, add the wavy hair to the outside strand and the middle strand. Continue braiding. I have another goddess knotless braids tutorial on my channel. So if you need more help with how to add in the wavy hair, then you can check out that video. Alright, done with those two braids. I'll do the other two off camera and then we'll be done. <laughs> Alright, so I am all done. This is how my braids are looking. So I did some large jumbo, whatever you want to call them, box braids, not loose box braids in red. Um, just show you some of my parting. Um, I counted my head. Let me see. Let me count them again. Just to be sure. Hey, 47 braids in my head. And this is what they look like. So, like I said, 
they go past my hips. So they're like to the middle of my thighs. This is how long they are in the back. Yep, so I ended up using um, one and a half packs of the um, wavy hair and I got that from Sally's Beauty as well as um, like one and a half packs of braiding hair that I also got from Sally's Beauty and I'll leave both of those in the description box. Um, and then all I used was Shine and Jam on my roots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more content from me. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.